Welcome to the Master Tech Lou channel. I am Lou and today I'm reviewing the IP616 by Xtool. I like this thing and I think you're gonna too. Let me explain to you why. So you're on YouTube, you're looking at review videos, you come across the Xtool IP616. You're intrigued, you're interested, you wanna know if this is gonna work for you. Let me tell you why you need to have this thing, whether you're a beginner or advanced, it's useful. You're gonna find uses for it. And I'll tell you the one thing that I found with it that is very interesting that I emailed Xtool support to find out what is going on with it. Check it out. So I've been in the automotive world for 20 plus years, most of it as a Mercedes-Benz dealer technician. I understand that a lot of people don't like the dealer, they don't trust the dealer, they don't like shops, they don't trust shops, they don't trust mechanics. People wanna learn and do it themselves. That's where something like this can come in handy. The problem is it doesn't teach you about the car, but this can help you to diagnose the car if you know how to diagnose stuff. Now, when something says all systems diagnosis, these scanners don't diagnose anything for you. It's a tool that you use to diagnose the issue. These don't tell you what to replace, all right? But when it means all systems diagnosis, I'm gonna show you with a screenshot and a video record. So when you go to system selection, it allows you to see everything that the dealer scanner can see, all the different control modules that you can pick. So in the Mercedes, everything is broken down by drive, chassis, body, information, communication, everything you can see here on the screen. So when I pick a certain selection, like body, it shows us all of the control modules that will work something on the body of the car. If I back out and go to information and communication, it's everything that has to do with communication systems or assistance systems like uh, park assist and all that stuff. So when it says all systems diagnose, you are able to read every control module in the car. You can see how many are in this Mercedes. I believe this one here has a total of 15. I did an automatic scan I'll show on the, the screen too for you guys. Using it, super simple, plug it into the OBD port, hit diagnosis if you wanna to go to a specific car, or you just hit auto scan. It'll, it'll pick up the VIN and then run away with it and start doing the auto scan. Now they also have a special function section, which almost all of these newer scanners are coming out with, which gives you up to 31 different reset options or learning capabilities. Uh, you just have to do your homework to see if the car that you own or you, the specific car you're working on actually needs any of this stuff. So you don't, you're not gonna use all of these on every car. Certain cars are gonna need certain functions. So uh, it's nice to be able to have something like this, but it's definitely not necessary. Now the best example I like to give is let's say a power window isn't working and because everything now goes through a module, we gotta figure out why the window's not working. You use the switch, it doesn't, fit, it, doesn't, it doesn't do anything. So you don't wanna replace something right away, you wanna see what's actually happening. So you hook up the scanner, you run the automatic scan, we go to the left front door, we're gonna go to diagnose, we're gonna go to live data, we're gonna go to switches, we're gonna go to the driver switch group and now I'm going to use the switch and you can actually see that the switch is working. So if the switch was working and the window motor wasn't, we would know that we either have a power failure or the window motor failed, right? So that's that's one thing that this can tell you to where if you had no power at the window motor, you still didn't know if the switch was working or if the door module was actually getting the signal and or sending the signal to the motor. Now, if you were watching my scan, you noticed one thing that I noticed is that in this Mercedes, which is a 2014, there is actually an actuation test, which is what we call bi-direction control. I stumbled upon this. So far, I've only seen it in the 2014 Mercedes. I tried a Ferrari, I tried a 2016 Dodge van, and I tried a 2002 Mercedes, and those other ones did not have any bi-direction control, but in this one here, there's actually bi-direction control. So I'm wondering either A, they updated my scanner with the wrong uh, software, or there's a cutoff year, and the thing is actually bi-directional from then. I emailed support, and I'll add in the comments when I figure that stuff out, okay? Cool thing about this uh, is you can do reports. You can email the reports. You can print them to a Bluetooth printer or a Wi-Fi printer, whatever you got. So far, I like this thing. It's really cool. Um, the only thing I don't like is the cable, but that's okay 
because you can get extension cables and you can extend it all the way out to the car wherever you need to be. Now, a lot of times people always wanna wonder, can I do keys? This is supposed to be able to do keys once you get the add-on box, all right? On top of that, they wanna know if it can program and code. It cannot, although I did see the option with the Mercedes. So it may, okay, it may, they may update it. Now, at the time of this video, there's a lifetime free updates when you purchase a scanner. Now, you'll get lifetime free updates within a window that Xtool is going to determine when to cut that off. So if you didn't make the cutoff, I'm sorry. And if you did, that's awesome. Who doesn't love free updates, right? So you want to know if the update runs out. No. So if this is updated at 2023 and they stop giving you free updates, the scanner is still going to work. You just won't get anything from 2023 onwards and or if they upgraded software, you're not going to get the add-on benefits. So what we do is we usually wait two or three years and then we'll buy a year of updates, no matter whether it be Autel or some kind of other kind of scanner. And then we get all that up to date. Then you can wait another couple, two, three years, because it's rare that somebody's working on a brand new model on their own outside in the shop, right? So in regards to a review, in my opinion, I like this thing. I would call this a level five scanner, right? So there's basic OBD, which only does check engine lights. There's enhanced with, which does the code reading plus reads live data. There's the four system, which does engine, airbag, transmission, and traction. Then there's the multi one, which is what this guy is. It will read the whole car, all the systems. So this is very good to have because nowadays in any kind of car from like 2003 on, they have so many control modules that there's, there's, you gotta have a way to read all the modules to see what's happening in there, right? So like uh, I got a buddy who owns a car lot. He doesn't fix his own car, but he calls me, Lou, I got this problem. Here's what I need. How I know what he needs and how he knows what he needs is he has one of these. He plugs it in. He'll read it and he'll tell me what's happening. I can give him a decent quote so he knows, should I put money into the car or should I sell the car? Or should I find another mechanic that's cheaper? Or maybe I should fix it myself, right? So this kind of thing can help you. If you're looking at buying a car, bring this to the car plug it in, run the system scan, see all the codes that are in there because everybody likes to erase codes and then sell you the car. So you drive off the lot and the next day, boom, check engine lights on. Well, gee, that wasn't there the day before. And I don't know where that came from. We've all been there. We've all heard it, right? So as far as the review goes, I like the scanner. I'm glad I have it. The company sends these to me for free so I can do the review video. I don't have to tell them it's good. I don't have to tell them it's bad. They don't care. Uh, I'm sure they care. I'm sure they want a positive review, right? But I am not making any money off this video. Watch any of my videos. I make no money off of them. I only do these so you guys know what you should purchase. And if you're interested in something, there's many models out there that do the exact same thing, right? But what's different is what you like. The function of it, the Android tablet, you can download apps to this thing. It's an Android tablet, right? You can put uh, YouTube on there, Chrome, put Netflix on there for the kids. Who knows what you can do, right? There's all kinds of stuff on there. So if you're a beginner in the automotive world and trying to fix stuff, this is great for you because you can't mess nothing up. You can't do anything to the car. You plug it in. All you can do is read stuff, right? You can't code anything. You can't try to program anything. You can't knock out programming of something like this. This is very safe for anyone to use. Now, if you're not a beginner and you've been a technician for 20 years, if not longer than I have, this is still going to help you. Right, so like I love a scanner that has bi-direction control so I can just actuate something. But then again, I also have access to wiring diagrams and how things work, so I know how to make them actuate anyways. As long as I know what the computer's seeing, then I know if the computer's good or bad or if the switch is good or bad, so that helps a lot. If you need a bi-directional control scanner, then you're gonna wanna go up a level. I'm not gonna tell you this is bi-directional even though we witnessed that it is in this model over here. I don't wanna say that it's for all of them. When I get the email back from Xtool, I'll put it in the comments to let you guys know if it is bi-directional and or I'll update the video. I will do that as well, okay? So, hey, my name is Lou. Uh, welcome to the Master Tech Lou channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hit subscribe, hit like. Check out my other review videos. Maybe you'll see something you like. There's a link down below to the Amazon seller that's selling these things and there's a promo code that they give me for my viewers. So, take it easy. See you next time.